Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up your plotter to work with Computer Cut Pro. When you first open up the program, you can either go to File and Cut Window and hit the Cut button and the Cutting Device Installation window pops up and in here you select the type of plotter that you have. In this case, we're using the GCC Jaguar 5 that we sell, PLX, and make sure that your plotter is plugged in and to the power outlet and plugged into your computer and select the, the plotter, click next, and it should automatically see the port that the plotter is connected to. In this case, it's the GCC USB. Click finished and you should be good to go. If for some reason it does not select the correct port, go up to cut, plotting defaults, setup, and select the port and you have a drop-down list of different ports in here. And if the plotter is connected using a straight USB connection, it's probably going to be some other USB port like a USB 2 or some other type of USB port. And just try and select the port and test cut it. And if it does not connect, Call our technical support line, 800-348-3193. Another way you can install the plotters from the cut window, go to File, Install, Cutting Devices, and the Devices window will open up. And all you need to do is select whatever plotter you're, you have. In this case, we'll select the GraphTech, click Next, and it'll populate the different types of GraphTechs. In this case, the one that we sell is the GraphTech 9000 and HPGL language, and click Next. And again, if it's plugged in and turned on, the port will, will show up. In this case, we, we don't have it uh, plugged in, but it should show up a USB port here and click finished and you should be good to go. For those of you who wish to feed the material out a certain distance after it is cut, the way in which you can do that is down here, additional X move at end, just go ahead and put in the amount that you want it to feed out. In the case of the Jaguar plotter, it's the groove on the front of the plotter is 4.75 inches. And click apply and the material would be fed out this distance once it stops cutting. One other feature that will probably come in handy is down here you check the check plotter for sheet size at start. What that does is it pulls the plotter when you initialize it, so it tells you exactly what size you can cut with him. So in other words, this is on a 40 inch plotter, so you might have the pinch roller set, say around 39 or something like that, so it will pull it and it will tell you exactly how wide you can cut on that piece of material or you can also click here on get page size and it will do the same thing. It's a great feature. And finally, just in case you are having problems connecting the plotter, there are two basic ways in which the newer plotters of today are connected to a computer. The main one is the USB printer cable. A second way in which you can connect to a plotter is using a USB to serial connection. 
If you are connected using the USB printer cable, if you go to cut, plotting defaults, setup, and under ports, you will see a USB port in here. And just select whatever port would work for you. If you are connected using a USB to serial cable, if you go to cut, plotting defaults, setup, and port, in here you will see a COM3 or higher COM port in here. Because when the cable is plugged into the computer, it should automatically assign a COM port, which you will see in the port location. So just select that and you should be able to cut.